Now, the, t the watershed really was the Second World War, where a variety of statisticians and mathematicians developed a bundle of techniques, and ultimately uh, to Milton Friedman at the University of Chicago, Knight's successor in the sense, as Doyen of um, Chicago School, and Jimmy Savage, a statistics department colleague of his there, uh, developed a theory of um, uh, rational choice under uncertainty, which essentially claimed that you could apply probabilistic type reasoning to every possible type of uncertainty. And Friedman and Savage essentially won that argument. We don't believe they won it intellectually, but they won it practically. And in classical text, which he wrote in the, in the 1960s, Friedman would write, Frank, Frank Knight, his predecessor, of course, Frank Knight made this distinction between risk and uncertainty. I shall not uh, refer further to, to this distinction because I do not believe it is valid. Mm -hmm. We may treat people as if they applied probabilities to every conceivable event. And that, that argument and that thesis has been the basis of the whole set of models we use in financial markets, capital asset pricing model, modern portfolio theory and the like, and also the kind of rational expectations models which dominate macroeconomics. So in the areas of economics that border on finance, it's almost impossible to overstate the influence of that kind of reasoning and that kind of argument. Mm. And uh, the origins of this book were partly, I spent a fair part of my career uh, running a consultancy business in which we develop models people. And I came to realize from that both the uses and the limitations of models. Uh, perhaps the most important lesson for me was that almost always we were developing models not to enable people to make decisions so much as to justify either to themselves or to their bosses or to external regulators to justify decisions which they had already taken on different grounds. Hmm. Uh, in a sense, what people did when they constructed models and it became easier and easier as spreadsheets became more and more and more and widespread. You thought of all the information which you would ideally like to have before you made a decision. You built a great spreadsheet around that. You didn't know what most of the numbers that were needed for that spreadsheet were, but you then went and made them up.